I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. In 1961, President John F. Kennedy delivered a speech urging Congress to make putting a man on the moon a national priority. But as private recordings reveal, by 1963, Kennedy was concerned that Americans might be losing interest in the space program. And in a closed-door meeting with NASA Administrator James Webb, he struggled to figure out how to win it back. The tapes of Kennedy and Webb's conversation were released on Wednesday, the 50th anniversary of his famous speech to Congress, by the John F. Kennedy Presidential Library and Museum. So he meets with Webb, who is the administrator of NASA, to try to come up and formulate a plan to sort of promote this interest and also to broaden the perspective of it, that it's not just going to the moon and back, but that the race to the moon is an umbrella of a bigger issue. In the recordings, which were made in the White House on September 18, 1963, Kennedy worries that the public might balk at the high cost of the space program, so he suggests presenting the project in terms of national security. We got to wrap around in this country a military use for what we're doing and spending in space. If we don't, it does look like a stunt and yeah. too much money. Right. The tapes demonstrate that while the president never lost his faith in the importance of space exploration, he kept a practical eye on the political realities of the project. hundred years from now, if people think, talk about the Kennedy administration, certainly space is going to be there as his legacy. But I does, do think it gives people sort of an inside view into how decisions are made at the White House and that these great ideas actually involve a lot of detail that sometimes are, are difficult. Additional excerpts and transcriptions of the tapes can be found at the John F. Kennedy Presidential Library and Museum website. This is Brian Stillman with the New York Post.